Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kaleido. So I know that you love cute stationery as much as I do and in this video I'm going to be doing a kawaii stationery haul. I want to give a big thank you to Stationery Stash who's sponsoring this video. All of the things that I'm showing you in this video I received for free from Stationery Stash Tribute. And if you love cute things then I know that you'll love some of the things on their website. A lot of these items will make great holiday gifts and stocking stuffers, so definitely go check them out. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. The first item is this set of rainbow cloud sticky notes, and there's three different designs, and the back is just a regular post-it note. I think this is so pretty. It has sort of this purple galaxy feel. You can use these for journaling or making yourself a to-do list or writing a cute reminder note for somebody. Next up we have these cute little heart paper clips in various colors. They sort of have a metallic finish and now that I'm working from home I've found some use for these kinds of things and they make me so much happier than ordinary paper clips. These ones are actually on sale for like 99 cents, so what a steal, right? I'm a big fan of using cute everyday items just to brighten up your life, so why use a regular paper clip when you can use a pretty sparkly heart one? Next up, we have this set of Molong washi tape. I'm not really sure if Molong is a Korean character or not. I think it's from Korea, but I'm not really sure. Leave a comment in the description box if you know, but I have seen the cartoon on Netflix and it's kind of like a nonsense cartoon, kind of like the old school Tom and Jerry cartoons, but way cuter. They just do like really silly crazy things. But anyway, this comes with two different washi tapes, one pink one and one yellow one. And I thought that the washi tape was going to be ultra thin, but as you can see, it's not bad. It's quite thick, so that's nice. And then there's this pink one with molong and different ice cream cones, which I think is super adorable. And it looks like he is dancing or having fun. Super cute. And then there's this yellow orange washi tape with Pew Pew the chick. And Pew Pew is also dancing with different, I don't know, are those cookies? So I've seen these pencil cases around, but I've never actually purchased one before. These are expandable pencil cases and it stands up on one end so you can just set it on the table standing up and when you put your pens in um, you can either keep them enclosed in the case like this or if you're actually using the pens you can open it up and retract the top so that the pens stick out on the top and you can see what you're getting really easily which I think is really cool so maybe you don't need to use this if you are just using one pen, but if you're using something like colored pencils or multicolored markers, then I think that this could be really useful. Last time I ordered from Stationery Stash, I was kind of eyeing this fuzzy little monster pencil case. I don't know why, but it's just so fun and it makes me happy to look at this. This reminds me of my daughter Valentina because she really likes rainbow colors and bright flashy things. And this just reminds me of her wacky personality. So I ended up giving this pencil case to Valentina and then for Sienna, I got the cat pencil case that I showed you guys previously because that one suits her personality much more. So Stationery Stash has some really pretty pens and I thought that this cat galaxy pen was so gorgeous. It has this iridescent ball in the center that rotates and both of my kids wanted this so I probably should have gotten two. This is just a regular black pen but it's so pretty. I don't know why I liked this little gummy bear pen. Um, this is another thing that reminded me of my daughter Valentina because she is really into rainbow things. And she also likes these pencils. So after you're done using the lead, you can take it out and put it in the back. And this is something that is so old school. It kind of reminds me of the pencils that I had when I was like in elementary school. And this one is kind of nice because even if you lose one of the leads, you can still use the pencils because each of the pencil tips is stuck into the bears. So, so cute. So one of my daughters, Sienna, is really into lead pencils lately. My younger daughter is not really good at using lead pencils. She always breaks the lead and she writes too hard so I think this is really meant for like adults or older kids 
but this reminded me of something that my daughter Sienna would really like because she's really into pastels. She especially likes light pink and light blue and really girly colors. And so I knew that she would love this. It has um, a jewel on top and then a sparkly crystal bead as well as a fluffy feather. So this is such a pretty and girly pencil and I decided to get two of them. I think the feather can be a little bit delicate so this is probably something you want to just keep on your desk and not put in your pencil case. So when I was first looking at the stationery stash website the thing that I was most excited about was this item. This is a box of little notes like memo notes. They're not sticky notes and the reason that I was excited about this was because it's in a little mail carton. Isn't this adorable? This is a little bit weird because it's kind of a mix of like Chinese characters and Japanese characters. I think on the side it says something in katakana and then the other characters are Chinese. So that's a little bit strange, but um, I was a little bit disappointed when I received it because the box was crushed. So. It kind of takes away from the whole look and feel of the memo. The notes are still really cute and it looks cute like this, but it would have looked a lot better if the box was not crushed. Next up we have this cute little notepad. This kind of reminds me of something that I feel like I've seen in art box in Korea. And it's just a gumball machine with gummy bears and cute gumballs. And this is also a sticky notepad, so you can use this to write to-do lists or cute little notes to your family and friends. These two sticky notepads were on sale on the Stationery Stash website, so I decided to pick up a couple because I always use these for writing notes to myself and for my kids. I use these for like my first graders sight words when she was learning sight words I would just put them on the back of the wall behind our kitchen table so she could study them while she was eating <laughs> here's another random sticky note pad that I got this one is like a cherry blossom notepad and cherry blossoms are always cute and this one has the cherry blossoms falling down onto the unicorn this one doesn't come with a ton of notes but I still thought that it was really pretty so I decided to get this one. Okay, here's another sticky note pad that I thought was really cute. This is like a little conversation bubble and I got this for my daughter Sienna because she really likes to draw pictures and then have the person in the picture saying something. So I thought she would enjoy using this with her drawings and you could also stick it on a photograph or something like that. All right, now I'm gonna show you some of the other pens that I got. I thought that this bow pen was super pretty and super girly and I know that both my kids will love this and it's just a regular black pen. It almost looks like it's going to be a lead pencil but it's a pen and I think it just looks so classy and pretty and also it writes pretty well. So I really love penguins and so does my daughter Sienna and I love purple, it's my favorite color. So I had to get this purple penguin pen. This is just a regular black pen, but I just thought it was so cute. So at some point, people decided that unicorns were kind of played out. I still like unicorns though, so I decided to get this purple unicorn pen, and this is just a regular black pen. The pens are all kind of the same, but they have different tops on it, and I thought that this was super pretty, and both my kids and I would like it. So Stationery Stash has so many adorable stickers. I featured some in my last Stationery Stash video. If you guys missed that, then make sure to watch it. I'll link it in the description box. But I decided to get these Pasheen stickers and Pasheen is so cute. These stickers feature Pasheen doing so many different things dressing up as like different characters. I think this is Katniss Everdeen and I think there is also like a Harry Potter one. So these are all really cute and funny and silly and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for. Maybe I'll use them to decorate notebooks or maybe for journaling or making cards for my kids or my friends and family. I mean you can never have enough like stickers, am I right? 
make sure to leave a comment and let me know how you guys use flake stickers. I think they're so versatile. The only thing is they can be kind of annoying to peel off the backing, especially if it's not split for you already, but these are such a great deal and they're so cute. I also decided to get these pom pom purine flake stickers and these, I think I like these better than the Pusheen ones. They're so adorable and I was not aware of this but it appears that Pom Pom Perrine has a girlfriend that looks like a white poodle. You guys will see it in some of these later stickers but these are so cute and they have more of a matte feel than the Pusheen stickers do so they're a little bit different but these designs are all super cute. By the way, have you guys been to the Pom Pom Purine Cafe in Harajuku? It is so cute and if you missed my video on that, then make sure to watch it. I'll link it down in the description box below. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out these playlists right here. And I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you want to become a channel member or a Patreon, go to the front of my YouTube channel and click the join button. You get early access to videos as well as access to special blog posts and videos that I reserve only for my channel members and Patreon family. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!